exploratory factor analysis. Exploratory factor analysis aims to explore the systematic interrelationship among a set of variables. How to run exploratory factor analysis by using SPSS? First, go to analyze dimension reduction factors and select all the items of the scale with the help of shift and with the help of arrow button up to the variables here you will press the button descriptors and select coefficient significance level determinants kmo reproduce and tms continue extraction scree plot continue rotation uh, rotation uses two method very mox and direct oblimen in Verimox, factors not allowed to be correlated. Verimox allows the factors to be orthogonal, while direct oblimen factors are allowed to be correlated. But most common method is Verimox, so selecting Verimox. And maximum iteration for convergence is 25. You can increase according to the items of the scale. And press the button continue. Score. Leave it as it is. Option. Here you will select sort by size, suppressed small coefficient, and this is the factor loading. Factor loading is uh, 0.3, and you can select uh, more than 0.3, and uh, more than 0.3 are considered practical. So I am selecting in this case is. 0.5 press the button continue ok and get the output in output first inspect the correlation of the item observed variable if the values of correlation is 0.8 or above may cause multicolonarity effect this can be solved by removing low values of correlation do not relate to the construct so in here inspect the values of correlation so no value is less than 0.8 and no value is greater than 0.8 here so this is good KMO and Bartlett's KMO stand for Kaiser Meyer Alkins Meyer of sampling adequacy and this value must exceed 0.5 so this is good this is 0.72 and this is the Bartlett's test of sophisticity and uh, Bartlett's test of sophisticity should be at least significant at 0 0.05 it indicates each this is significant it indicates each variable perfectly correlate with its matrix now you can go ahead NTMH NTMH correlation matrix of the item should be at least 0.5 and somewhere in between 0.70 to 80 so you can see here in the diagonal values of NTMH this is in the diagonal form this one along with the cursor you can see here and uh, diagonal values should be greater than other values in the row so all values are in between 0.70 to 80 now the commonalities commonalities of the variable must be greater than 0.5 so inspect these values all are good all are uh, greater than 0.5 it is the amount of variance a variable shares with all other variables being considered small values indicate variables that do not well with the factor solution and should possibly be dropped from the analysis normally values less than 0.5 are removed total variance explained this is the total variance explained and this total variance explained is now you can focus here the total variance explained is 72 and uh, this is the uh, total variance of uh, of these four items item one item two item three these four items total variance and uh, uh, this is the eigenvalue and eigenvalue is a uh, percentage of variance can be attributed to each specific factor 
relative to total variance in all factors these are the four factors all factor explaining these four factors are explaining 60 to 70 percent of the variance should be retained in the model so this is 70 percent and uh, eigenvalue this is the eigenvalue eigenvalue of first four factors are considered great considered because these values are greater than one and the values less than one are not considered so now the secret plot in secret plot it is a plot of eigenvalues and factor number according to the order of extraction the plot is used to determine the optimal number of factors to be retained in the final solution secret plot seem like elbow which indicates the linear descending trend so you are uh, you can view it uh, item 1 item 2 i can value are going to descend gradually and this is the component matrix this component matrix uh, explain these uh, four items are well together and uh, and these four items are well together to factor 2 and these two items are in cross loading so cross loading is not allowed and these two items are not well together to factor 1 and factor 2 now the reproduced correlation reproduced correlation this is the reproduced correlation and this is the residual and uh, for model fit reproduced correlation the degree of correlation between the variables can be reproduced for an appropriate factor analysis solution the difference between the reproduced and observed correlation should be less than 0 0.05 so this is the difference between the observed and reproduced correlation and uh, a model that is good fit will have less than 50 percent of the non-redundant residual with absolute values that are greater than 0 0.05 and you can see here non-redundant residual with absolute values greater than 0 0.05 so this is good now this is the rotated component matrix this is what in which researcher is interested and uh, this rotated component explain in which explain here in which four items are mirroring factor one these four items and these three items are mirroring factor two and but look uh, the item eight and ten item eight and ten fail to load to any factors item seven and ten uh, seven and three not loading well to other items of the construct here you can note uh, for making a factor at least three items well together so this model so two items cannot make a factor alone and these two item cannot make a factor alone so this model extracted two factors and uh, now we will write down in our report uh, the all uh, values of eigenvalue and uh, KMO and Bartlett's and uh, we will report these values in our report and I hope this video would help you to run explorative factor analysis.